So here we're going to apply the work energy theorem. Uh, we can say that here the integral of f times dr would be equal. We can rewrite f as negative k, the kinetic energy times r, essentially. And we can say that this would be times dr. And so we can then say that one half times the final, one half times mv final squared would be equal to the integral from r to zero of negative k r dr. And this is equaling one half times the kinetic energy times r squared. And here r is going to be the radius of the earth. So solving for the final speed, we have that this is going to be equal to for the radius of the earth times the square root of the kinetic energy divided by the mass. Uh, we note that the acceleration of gravity, of course, A sub G is going to be equal to G, which would be equal to, again, 9.8 meters per second squared. And on the surf, and uh, we can then say that here, A sub G would also be equal to G M over R squared, or we can say uh, G times 4 pi R cubed divided by 3 times rho, the density of Earth, divided by R squared. So essentially, we can say that here, um, the kinetic energy divided by the mass m would be equal to 4 pi times the gravitational constant times rho divided by 3, and this is equaling g divided by r. So we can then say that here, the final velocity would be equal to r multiplied by the kinetic energy k divided by m. And once we substitute, this would be r divided by the square root of g over r. And this is simply equal to the square, the square root of g times r. And we can solve. So the velocity final would be the square root of 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by the radius of the earth 6.37 times 10 to the sixth meters and the final velocity would be 7.9 times 10 to the third meters per second this would be the final velocity and our final answer that is the end of the solution thank you for watching